but it is no good to us unless Dubois is dead. Do not come back before you have done what I asked of you this morning. So is this part of the same get him to work for you plan by killing him? Or is this a different plan and you're just making it up as you go along? So basically, we know something just rewinding what he did before the sequence. Oh. Oh. <gasps> the magic carpet? The seven dwarves have found him. Yeah, the seven dwarves. There's a magic carpet. There's a Latin meet <gasps> the beast beats Snow White. Okay. So oh! Good. Okay. Oh, where are we now? Oh. Oh, there's like a portal to the beast place. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's... What? She's meant to be a teapot. Yeah, well, that's supposed to be the different movie altogether, but what do you know? You know what? I bet Christopher Lee was thinking, like, you know, I bet they liked really saying, yes, we've got Dame Judi Dench in this film, Bill Murray, Daniel Day Lewis, Michael Caine, and Dame Helen Mirren. They said, then they said, oh yeah, they all quit. Well, I'm not going to quit. I get to play a villain in an animated adaptation of Beauty and the Beast. What, what are they doing? Oh, they're smiling. <gasps> He's oh. back! That's what they're smiling about. Hello! It is morning, it looks like night. Hmm? Is there anything we can do? <laughs> you could show me how to be a ventriloquist, that was impressive! <laughs> But is he just holding up a fist, or is he supposed to be leaning on that? Uh oh. It sounds like someone singing. No, it couldn't be. No one else lives around. Oh god, it's the freaking goldfish from Lorax again. Goodness, no! She will be gone for hours. No, that's the call of the winter pigeon. It's the call of my hair not being attached to the rest of my hair. You just see that was like floating off to the side. <laughs> What? Camouflaged in the snow. Ooh. Well, I really should be thinking of leaving. Oh, he dropped it. Oh. Ooh. Well, really, I must be. Oh my goodness. Thick. No, they suspect something. Why are you back to him then? They're onto his game. You know, how long is this movie in for now? How long have we been in? Is it half an hour or something? And still no beast. You must pass on my gratitude to my generous host. Oh, that would be impossible. The master is away. But he would be happy to know that you have had a pleasant stay. His heart is truly very large. And so are his arms, and his legs, and his teeth. You should probably leave now before he finds us. <laughs> I cannot bring something back for your sisters, but I'm blessed with the fortune of accomplishing the gift which you have asked. Favoritism! Is this the way you repay my hospitality? I, the master of the house, have my people not shown you enough? <laughs> Why has he got an echo in his voice? For the greed you have shown, I have no choice but to punish you. My <laughs> giant hand! Where did my fangs go? Mm, you don't look very wealthy. Are they, are they telling off each other at the back? I think so. And she's apparently singing, but not actually saying words. What pray is the name of the youngest? I told you! It's beauty! It's a magic mirror! That's what's going on, that's why they can't hear it. It wasn't just terrible animation. Those and what it is I am to take. I wish for your youngest daughter, the one you call beauty, to come and live with no, me here. Never! I, I couldn't! She is my most... No! Rose, I promised her to my uncle! But but she has never harmed anyone. Her... That is quite possibly the lamest family crest no. in that she holds. <laughs> it's a frog! No, I merely wished to suggest that you could take something. <laughs> my other daughters, perhaps. 
There are some bitches I don't really care about. Because you're quite ugly, I think you and ugly would match perfectly. <laughs> you know, he could just go and not come back. What's Beast going to do? Ah, uh, Brock uh, 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 tells the Alright, so we're just going to be sure this! What? <laughs> on the fake villain but this scene where he's telling like sending beauty off to the beast that's gonna be in text are you happy yet no no it's painful is it painful the animation's awful i mean i know it's hilarious we're living in the golden age of animation right now this is haunting Tonight, when I go back home, I think I need to watch a good animated film just to make myself realize there are good animated films out there. Alright, how about this? What if I just like splice in part of a trailer from Land Before Time? Yeah, watch this. Yeah, that's good animation. Filled with friendship. Do not stop! We must stay together! Courage. Oh, you can't quit now! What if the Great Bell is just over the top of these rocks? This exists. Now let's go back to the crowd you know. <laughs> 3D, you get your money's worth. On her way? But, but, but she was promised to me. Who am I to marry now? You were promised anything. Where has she gone? I must go after her. The sun is so bright, I must block it. Excuse me, I have to talk to someone I'm trying to hire as my maid and see if she will sell me her daughter. <laughs> Maybe she will be more reasonable. This is why I'm a good employer. And why I only have one rat faced twit as my employee. He was promised to me by my last daughter. Either yeah, that dress is extremely wide, or uh, that is very uncomfortable. Could they do another text bit where saying Belle got there safely, getting the issues now? Belle got there safely and fell in love with the beast, the end. <laughs> <laughs> What am I doing? I'm in wrong scene. <laughs> we welcome you to the neighborhood scene. Who are you? We're the garden keepers. They do sound like munchkins as well. I can't wait for the Tim Burton version where they're both going to be played by Bert Lucas. <laughs> can't play with us, beauty. <laughs> oh, what a wonderful place. <laughs> the throcks meant to be some kind of theme in this film. Then you can look I think it's leading to something. He's on his own quest. Tried to find the princess to kiss him. The thing I asked you is not to pick any of the roses. He's weirdly touchy about the roses. Maybe the tide was life force, and when all the roses are picked, that's when he must remain a beast forever. Uh oh. <laughs> I'm sneaky. <laughs> is this way? Is he lost? <laughs> Did he kill him? Did he strangle him? I hope so. No. What did he do? Is he repeating the same scene? Well, hang on a minute. Why did he just chuck him out? No, he just gonna squeeze his neck and then disappear back into the bush, which is much smaller than he is. Please, darling beauty, wipe away that tear. How strange. I think the strangest part is that a mirror appeared inside the mirror. Oh, frogs everywhere. Does bees have a thing for frogs? I think they're fascinating creatures. They're the only ones that understand me. <gasps> I've already seen this painting a thousand times. I have no interest to see You know what? Again. Those puppets were more convincing than the, char than the characters themselves. Two pianos for the beast who has everything. Why not have another? And so beautiful. Yes, the beauty of having two pianos? Why? It's gonna fade to that path and then cut back to the house. 
And now we're just coming back here again. So I, I guess that, like, cut to the hall meant some... Oh, there's musical numbers in there. Oh, what? They're actually including a song. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. This movie... Yeah, this, okay. Okay, look. I can handle... <laughs> I can handle the but poor, yeah, poor animation because it's been seen many times before in other films, yeah? I can I can understand the poor transition, the poor storytelling, but now this is the cherry on top. Who wanted a song? I was demanding it secretly, and it has answered my prayers. Oh. <laughs> She's singing. Where's this music coming from? Oh, uh, Mrs. Potts, I'm hallucinating people dancing in the garden again. If you take your bets! <laughs> frogs! <laughs> well, if the frogs are all part of the vaccination as well. <gasps> Wait, I, I think she had a rose in her hand in the last scene. <laughs> or a microphone. Or something. <laughs> oh. This is boring. <laughs> What a coincidence, the butterfly hit my hand when I sang butterfly. <laughs> yeah, what's in the hand? Is he, what, the rose? I don't know. And now it's He's gone. not there anymore. Clearly that was just a pop song shoved in there to sell the soundtrack. <laughs>